going on everyone jack here from half chrome this is a dji 04 whoop that i built this morning i spent gosh i don't know three four hours putting this thing together troubleshooting uh flying running through batteries and there are definitely some really cool things about this but there are also some real limitations so uh i want to walk through what i did what i would do differently and some things you probably want to think about. Now, I've been flying whoops for a while. Uh, I've got good old analog here. This is a uh, walk snail and this here, HD zero, right? I love this frame. This is a Meteor 75 Pro. It's a little bigger than 75 millimeters. And I thought that would be a great frame to put my 04 unit on. Now, these are all 1S quads and this guy, the GTI 04, you can't really fly it on 1S. Uh, there are a couple of options right now. Uh, Sub 250 released one. Uh, the Sub 250 is a 65 millimeter quad. You can buy that, but it has problems. And um, when the battery voltage drops too low, you lose video feed and it's not going to come back. You're going to crash. Now, Beta FPV also has a Meteor 75. Uh, 1S quad, but I happen to know that it's not ready. I know there are a couple of uh, videos on YouTube out there on that drone, but it is early prototype stuff and they're not ready. I know that because they reached out to me and they'll send me one when it's ready. So I will have that on the channel. So I thought, you know what? It's President's Day. I'm going to build my own and I'm going to build a 2S quad because a 1S uh, on that 04 has some serious limitations, meaning when your voltage drops, your drone's going to fall out of the sky. So I wanted to avoid that by building a 2S quad, and I thought this Meteor 75 frame would be fantastic. I had an old 2S, uh, 2 to 3S flight controller laying around and some 1102 9000 KV motors. Now, not 100% ideal, but good enough, right? So I want to talk a little bit about the O4 air unit. And you'll notice right away that I had to do some surgery on this uh, meteor canopy. I also tried, you know, this style of uh, TPU mounted canopy, but this one's super flimsy. It looks kind of cool. So let me show you what, I'm, what it what it ended up looking like here. Um, but it's... Yeah, it's not not ready for the big time. Um, yeah, you can kind of see there. Why is this one so small? There we go. Zoom in. Um, you can kind of see this TPU mount just kind of fits right over. And I had to kind of get creative because this DJI Air Unit camera, not standard, right? So uh, that was kind of disappointing. Uh, if you look at this camera here, this there's this little like plastic thing that snaps on top of it. And right, there's no holes there. And the holes are on the sides of, of the top, right? So it's not a standard mounting pattern. So that that's kind of a pain in the butt, actually. So, you know, what you could do, and I did this here. So I just drilled some holes right there in the middle so that I can mount it into this canopy. And I also had to cut away this canopy here so that I didn't see it. I initially just kind of looked like a pinhole or I was flying through, um, you know, a keyhole or something. So that's something you got to keep in mind if you're going to do that. Now this quad as is, is about 40 grams. Let me switch cameras here for you so you can see what I'm talking about. And uh, we're looking at 42 grams uh, with the initial, um, yeah, sorry, studying my camera here. With the initial build, it was about 40 with that other canopy. I've got uh, a zip tie here. I'll explain what I'm talking about. Then we look at uh, same size quad. Uh, analog, 29 grams. Uh, this is my HD zero build. 
34 grams. Now I built all of these myself. And this one is wax nail. Actually, this one I did not. This one came to me from Beta FPV, 36 grams. So, you know, they're all pretty comparable. Uh, but when you're looking at this guy, let me just talk. Um, <laughs> you can obviously see I modified this canopy. Um, I've got some... Um, electrical tape that I ran underneath this. And that's because anytime you're dealing in close quarters like this, you want to make sure that your electronics aren't touching. I've learned that uh, the hard way. <laughs> um, you can see I got a zip tie here. That's because this screw on this side was stripped out. So I need something to hold it down. You can see in my last crash, I actually lost this screw here. So, you know, there's a lot of just kind of tinkering that you got to do if you're going to build one of these things. And it flew okay. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, my experience flying it. I'm going to show you um, some video of me flying. And let's, ooh, I look so ugly. Here we go. Uh, so this is uh, me flying it. Now it's a 2S whoop, and I love flying indoors. Uh, but 2S is really powerful. So what I did to kind of tame it a little bit is I have a throttle cut. I have a throttle cut on a dial. It's super helpful. And, um, you know, doing that tamed it, right? It flew a lot more like a, like a 1S quad, but it's still heavy. And that's something that I'd love to see Beta FPV kind of figure out uh, because it is heavy. It doesn't perform like, you know, a 1S quad. And, and it's heavy because these batteries, these 2S batteries, they're heavier, right? They're twice as heavy as a standard battery. Now, also, I don't know why, but you can kind of see my air unit was always in, let me get this off of the screen. And why am I stretched? Come on now. Um, my video was always in low power mode, so it never recorded on the goggles or on board. And I got to do some troubleshooting, so I'm not exactly sure why that is. I think there are a lot of glitches that we got to figure out uh, with this 04 air unit or air unit light, as a lot of people like to say. So if you want something this small, I would probably wait. Um, there are going to be better flight controllers. They're going to be uh, better canopies, better frames, things designed for this. And companies like Beta FPV and Emacs, I know, are working on that behind the scene. So I would probably wait. And also, while I'm in the on the subject of of talking tiny boats, right? I've built a lot of. I didn't build this one. I did. I built this one. Um, I built a lot of tiny boats, and I would say my success rate is. I don't know, 60, 75 percent, let's say 60 percent, meaning if I was to build 10 of them, six of them are flawless and they fly perfectly. And four of them are gigantic headaches. Um, it used to be that you could save some money by building yourself a drone. And that's not really the case anymore. I just built, where is it? I built this guy, right? This uh Actually, when I built it, it was a 65. Then I swapped it over to a 75 frame. Uh, got all the parts from Meps King. Uh, this cost about 100 bucks, uh, $95. It's about what it costs to uh, to build, to just buy a ready-made drone. I would say save yourself the frustration. Let them figure some things out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, DJ 04, I'm excited. It's going to be great when it finally... Uh, is ready for whoops, but it's not quite there yet. It will be soon and uh, probably in the next couple of months. So check back. I'm going to make some more videos. I'll listen. I'll troubleshoot this guy uh, because I really, really want this to work. I love, you know, these goggles. These goggles are great, great picture. Uh, you know, you can fly it with the DJI FPV remote or you know, I would blend mine with my Radio Master on ELRS. So there's a lot to like that's coming our way. But it's not quite ready yet. Now, I think if you're going to go with an Air Unit Pro and put this on, say, something like, you know, a 4-inch or a 5-inch, I think this 
I think this guy here is what I'm going to do with my Air Unit Pro. Uh, this is my baby hawk. I love flying four inches. Uh, five is great, uh, but this is probably my favorite quad. It's going to get an upgrade, and uh, yeah, I'll be flying freestyle probably when it gets a little warm. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys have questions, hit me up. Let me know. Um, I'll be building. I'll be flying. And uh, if there's something you want to see on the channel, leave a comment down below and I will get to it. Anyway, hope this was helpful. And uh, yeah, I still got some work to do to be flying Tiny Whoops indoors with DJI 04. If you guys got to figure it out, let me know. Thanks for watching.